Hey there and welcome to this tutorial on building your first WebAssembly application using Spin with only three steps. Let's jump straight in. So before we get started, you have to install Spin and Spin is an open source framework. You can get Spin by using this particular command if you're on a Linux or a Mac or check out this link if you're on Windows. This command installs a install.sh file, which installs spin for you on your machine. Once you have run the installer script, it is highly recommended to add spin to a folder which is on your local path, which in this case is slash user slash local slash bin. You can also choose to install spin using a service such as Homebrew, which will install the latest version of spin for you on your Mac. Once you've installed spin, make sure you verify that you've installed spin by using spin hyphen V, that's capital V, which will show you the version of spin. Also make sure you're on the latest version of spin to get started. Now that the installation is done, we can actually get started with building our first spin app using three steps. Step one, spin new. What essentially spin new does is it creates an application and gives you templates from which you can get started. As you can see in the list here, uh, the, every template has a type of trigger, which is either HTTP or Redis and a language. In this case, it is JavaScript, PHP, Python, Rust, and so many more. We are going to choose HTTP Rust for this example, but feel free to play around with any of the other examples mentioned below. Enter a name for your application, in this case, Hello World, because well, that is tradition. You can also choose to enter a description and a HTTP path. Now this is the path that will trigger your application. In this case, we have used a wildcard, which means anytime your application is triggered, the components that we write will actually run. Let's go ahead and CD into the folder that is just created and open it in the code editor of your choice. The thing you will notice is that every spin application that's created has something called an application manifest file that is named spin.toml. This application manifest file contains things like identification information about this particular app, what events the application should run in response to certain triggers, as well as the WASM modules of the application and their associated settings such as the build setting. Every application has one of these and typically you will not create one of these by hand, but just use it from the templates that have already been given to you when you do spin new. Now let's check out the code in your Rust WebAssembly app. Open the source folder and check out lib.rs or lib.rs and you will see a code snippet which is a fairly simple request response model. As you can see, there is an incoming request coming in and a response that goes out, which in this case on line 11 is hello fermion. Let's again change that to hello world again because we like our traditions here and let's actually build this application and see what happens. So that was step one. We did spin new and we created a new app. Step two is spin build where we're going to build this application. While this application is being built, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more technical content about WebAssembly. All right, your spin application is built and now all that's left is to test the application out using our third command, which is spin up. Essentially what spin up does is it hosts the program on your local host for you to test it out. As you can see, it has created this application on your local host. You can run a curl command and see the hello world output we just modified, or you can choose to open this address or this URL in a browser and also verify that for yourself. And that's it. Using three simple commands, we actually wrote our first ever WebAssembly app. All that's left for you to do now is to deploy this to the cloud. And to do so, all you have to do is use the spin deploy command. Go ahead and open your terminal and type in spin deploy. If this is the first time you're logging into the Fermion cloud, you will be asked to authorize this via your GitHub account. Just follow the instructions in the terminal to create your Fermion Cloud account. Once you type in spin deploy, 
you will actually see in a matter of seconds that your application is now on the internet. And you will also notice a domain which you can go ahead and test out your application. Also, let us know what type of WebAssembly applications you're building and also what type of content you'd like to see on this channel. Have a good rest of the day and see you soon.